of part two. Now, line definition, the second line definition, line demo LM22. This is first field in second line of part two. Fine. And all we need to do is F12, TDL, F4. Uh, obviously, TCP cannot be refreshed. We'll have to add the text file or just remove this TCP and execute it from here right so this is this is going to be a better way for a developer that if he executes the file now it says there is an error it says demo see there's an error here my compilation it says field demo FID, fd22 referred from line cannot be found so what we have written here and what we have written here varies so there's an error now if i change the spelling correct it we'll clear it now check so this is some basic kind of compilation errors that tally developer will give you which you will not be able to identify when you are uh, uh, writing it into a notepad So do you see demo TDL is just now below multi confronting? That's because we said add key item after multi confronting. And how did I get the string? I went to the here, control, left click, selected this, just scroll down. You need to, you know the sequence, right? A constant for payroll info, inventory info, quick setup transactions. And if you see the names are here such that it indicates what it is. So multi confronting. Now say if you want it after display. So just copy this, go back to your code, change this. And F12 product and features f4 internet you just refresh your tdl and you'll see it's gone up right so it's simple placement is also very simple uh, demo tdl this is the first field in the first line of part one this is the first field in second line of part one this is the first field in the first line of part two this is the first field in the second line of part two so you see this parts are vertical and lines also go vertical so they are just right below one another and since each of them is having just one one field it is right below each other simple as that right so i think everybody would be able to create a simple tdl report right so these are some commonly used definitions and their attributes which we have used here uh, right right now we haven't given a title to our report so having a complete habit of providing a title to the report and we say demo tdl is the title to our report so these are some commonly used uh, uh, definitions we have seen such as uh, we'll see it for skip and set by condition also 
form is having parts and bottom parts and bottom parts, parts and lines, repeats, lines having line field repeat. So as and when we come across the other sessions, we will be using these attributes, right? So attributes of field definition, uh, we have already seen such as uh, talking about info, info also displays the data but the difference is it acts as a label. So when a report is an edit mode, the field is skipped whereas at, when it is written as such as it provides an initial value to the field but allows the user to modify the value. So what in case a user has written info and such as both in his field? In that case, info will get a precedence over your set as and then there is an attribute called skip the so in case in the edit mode though you want to provide an initial value which might later get changed or refreshed whatever it is the skip attribute can be used to uh, no do not by not al allowing the user to enter that particular field Set by condition uh, is similar to set as. However, uh, you can provide uh, your set as text with some conditions. For example, you know, control end. Here we can provide an if condition. If A is equal to B, then this else empty. This is what you can provide in your set as condition. Right? So you can provide a set as condition like this. So you can give a condition. If the value is equal to B, then give this condition else you leave it blank. So there is an if else condition that you can provide at your set as to I don't know, show the output. Uh, so uh, what we have done is similar to this. You can make a nested if else conditions for the set as to make the coding uh, look much neat. There is an attribute added set by condition which separates the condition and the value. So set by condition if then value, set by condition if and the value, condition and the value, condition and the value. And at the last you can provide a set as which will work as your else condition. So that if any of the condition provided by a set by condition isn't evaluated, your set as will get executed. Then we have modifiers. So modifiers are used to perform specific actions on definitions or attributes. They are classified as definition modifiers and attribute modifiers. In definition modifiers we have hash, exclamation and asterisk. We also call this asterisk mark as reinitializer hash we have already seen attribute modifiers are use add we have already seen add delete replace option switch and local Definition modifiers that are used to alter the definitions are hash which removes the or makes the change permanent. Exclamation exercises an optional definition. So uh, based on condition if there is something that you want to execute will be prefixed with an exclamation mark. And then we have the reinitializer which deletes all the attributes of the existing definition. So it makes the entire definition blank and you can restart writing the entire definition. 
attribute modifiers are classified into static or load time modifiers which is used as delete